Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what, what have you been up to? It sounds like you've been traveling around the world quite a bit now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the, the third day that I've been back to Taiwan. So all my colleagues say, yeah, long time no see yeah. as well. So yeah, I've been to uh, the UK and then to Japan. So this is, yeah, for like almost a month traveling. I'm all, uh, like you, I'm back to Taiwan. Yeah. So Freddie is the lead singer of a band called Katonic. It's a black metal band, um, very well known among um, Asian, among Asia actually. And so he and his band have been traveling around uh, on tour in the UK. Uh, where else have you been recently? Uh, recently this year we mainly we play in uh, the Asia mostly, like Hong Kong, Macau, and Singapore, and Japan. Yeah, and then UK. Yeah, and next every year we will traveling. Uh, we will tour in the U.S. again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was a couple of years ago that he was in the U.S. Yeah, uh, last touring. year. Yeah, and it was great because all the Taiwanese American community came out in strong support, especially the first generation, surprisingly. They came out and helped them along at various stops along the way. So, yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's something <laughs> different. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, how about, what's the latest on the, the music scene? What are you guys working on? The latest? Um, I think our new album has been released last year, uh, last se September. So after that, we have been touring in the US and UK, and and uh, that last month is the second tour in UK. So yeah, I mean, le late uh, recently we have been and we have been voted as the as the one, uh, second place of the best band in the world by a very well known metal heavy metal magazine called uh, Terrorizer in UK. So, so I think the the all the feedback of our new album and our performance are very well. So we are full of uh, now we fully into the writing new stuff. Yeah, and we can we expect even better, uh, better in the future. Maybe next year. Yeah, we hope to release that in the future. Yeah. That's cool. We'll be looking out for all of that. But we also have to say, we really res from TaiwaneseAmerican.org, we really respect all that you do for the Taiwanese community with respect to human rights and democracy issues. So I know there's been a big election here in Taiwan recently, and uh, you know there's some good and bad stuff that's been going on. But um, d despite the politics, we do just we think it's great that you are taking a stand and getting young people to really care about. Uh, Taiwanese politics. Uh, after 2000, uh, in 2008, in our side of the campaign, the Taiwanese campaign or the human rights campaign, we always we we was so worried about the Taiwanese, the young youngsters are not into our campaign. So I can remember there were so many, uh, so many people that are worried about the uh, young people vote for President Ma or vote for KMT. But now we can feel like there are more and more youngsters into the campaign or even in this election that just happened uh, uh, two weeks ago, two weeks, uh, that you can see the KMT now they are worried about the youngsters don't vote for them anymore. I, I, I have read a lot of articles on the newspapers about they are thinking about why their young votes been gone so fast. And, uh, and the good side, the positive side is that all the articles of them, written by them, look very ridiculous. They don't really know about what's happened and they don't know. So I think after uh, Recently, after like two to three years working on the young uh, youngsters uh, movement into the social movements, I I really can see the positive side of the the, the young votes, and also I have been elected as the the chair of Amnesty International Taiwan just uh, last month. So I have been the, the youngest chair. Yeah, before me they are all 60 or 70 year old human rights defenders. And I've been the first young one, and also it's an organization that formed by different supporters of different party. Even the Hu Zhichang mayor, Hu Zhichang of Taizong, is our member as well. So I've been voted by different uh, 
supporters of different parties. So I, I could, and but in the other way is that the active young members of Amnesty International in Taiwan, they care a lot about all the 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 other campaigns that we really into, no matter human rights or Taiwanese campaign. So, so I really think it's now. Uh, this year and next year will be very uh, the key years of our campaign. Yeah, yeah. I think um, it's you know certainly all, with all the stuff that's been happening, it's a uh, wake up call for many Taiwanese Taiwanese Americans everywhere. So, but we really respect all the great work that you do. Yeah. And I'm glad you could uh, make time for to meet me while I travel out here to Taipei. It's always no, great to see you. Wherever, 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 wherever it is in the world, I see you. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll say hi to all our friends out in uh, TaiwaneseAmerican.org out there in the world. <laughs> and we'll check out check out Katonic on um, their website and uh, don't forget to check out TaiwaneseAmerican.org. See you later. Bye bye.